Now batting for coverage of SU Softball's first ever duel in the dome, starting first baseman for the Orange, Kelly Sacco. Kelly, welcome to Citrus TV. Thank you so much for having me. So when the team approached you, uh, and we all met, and, and you said, we're going to be playing a game in, in the Carrier Dome, the historic Carrier Dome, which has never had a softball game, what was your reaction? We could not have been more excited. I mean, we are on the road 24-7, and it was so nice to finally host a huge tournament in our home in our home city and in the Dome. What a huge landmark. We, we couldn't be more happy. I think it was last season. We were on the road for six to eight straight weeks now. Let me, let me play that out a little bit. That is being in school for two, three days tops. It is, it's not easy. So it was wonderful to finally be able to come home and host a tournament in front of our home crowd. So your professors were fans of the Duel in the Dome. Uh, going over some of the pluses and minuses of playing a game on the turf field, you practiced there, but you have never played a game there. What was that like? Well, that was a little different. My freshman and sophomore year, we were at the Dome every single day for practice. However, once they built the new Manly Fieldhouse, we were there, and that's where our practices have been ever since then. So we had to adjust a little bit getting used to that the use of that turf which is a little more bouncy than the one at uh, at the carrier dome so i think you saw a few plays there where the ball just bounced up on us i'm pretty sure i caught a pick at first base with my stomach i mean go, go figure you're not gonna see that in the game i imagine it also wasn't too comfortable to slide on that turf oh sliding was a little difficult i know some of the girls couldn't really decide whether to wear their cleats or wear their turf shoes. So I personally stuck with the turf shoes because I think, uh, which proved to be a good decision because some of the girls in the cleats got caught up there in a few of their slides. Before we get to some of the highlights, any last quirky ground rules that you were notified of? Well, before the game, a coach comes up to us, oh, wait, wait, before you guys go and do your cheer, um, if the ball gets caught in the blue curtain, yeah, that one right there, you just put your hands in the air and let us know and we'll figure it out. So that was a little odd. Or a curtain, this is softball. What the heck is a blue curtain doing here? Well, let's stop all the suspense of what this actually <laughs> looked like and take a look at the highlights of Syracuse versus Colgate. No dugouts, you were up in the stands. Coming in with some momentum, though. Seven-game winning streak, and it continued in the first inning. Carrie Lee Thomas with a three-run jack. That looked good off the bat, right? Now Carrie Lee has been absolutely great all season since the very first tournament, just dropping bombs left and right. That was her fourth of the year, and I'm sure she's going to have many more to come. And Jenna Kyra with a strikeout there, five innings, just two hits. Now Jenna Kyra, if you meet her, she's the most humble person in the world, and you would never know that she is the top pitcher in the Big East, also starting for the Canadian national team. She's just a stud and she just gets so much attention and doesn't even want it, but she deserves every minute of it. Kyra improving her record to 14-3 on the season after the 6-0 win. Thomas obviously was the offensive spark for your orange, and uh, how did you perform out there? You know, struggled a little bit? I struggled a little up to bat, but you know, I made up for it the next game. Very good. Kelly Sacco, our all-star uh, coverage of SU softball, but we also had our all-star reporter on the ground, Katie Muldowney, at the Carrier Dome. It was a home opener unlike any other for the Orange as they played the first softball game ever in Carrier Dome history. The team said they were excited to play in a venue that means so much to the SU community as well as to have a field to play on when the weather isn't optimal for outdoor sports. It's a lot of fun being able to share this with the community that's who's out here and coming to watch and support us. It's, it's a lot of fun. It was a great experience to be in here, you know, because we're in here with the football players are in here and then the basketball players are in here. So it's like cool to kind of be a part of that group. You know, I think we're a pretty fun team to watch. I think there's a lot of, a lot of different um, exciting things that happen. we got great pitching and a lot of offense and speed. And, you know, so it's, it's a fun game. It's a quick game. And I think that when people that watch us, they get hooked. The team hopes to continue to play games in the Dome as it attracts positive attention to the program, which helps with recruits, as well as entices other nationally ranked programs to travel here to duel in the Dome. Reporting from the Carrier Dome, Katie Muldowney, Citrus TV.